My fellow Americans, I ask that you look at that sign. The Marines. For you, for us. What do you think that means? It means that these men and women are willing to protect the freedoms that we so hold so close to our hearts. The time has come, however, my fellow Americans, to realize that the men and women of this nation who have put their lives on the line, you and I, and all Americans, all visitors, all legal and even illegal aliens who have believed in the Constitution of the United States, who believed in the Declaration of Independence, who believed in the Bill of Rights itself, and all the amendments since, that all men and all women, and in fact all children, are created equal, those laws have been, and those thoughts and those deeds and those declarations have been taken from us. You see, my friends, the time has come for the truth. The truth is that those men and women who have died for freedom, who fought since the beginning and in fact before the revolution, men like George Washington, men like Andrew Jackson, Men like Robert E. Lee of the Confederacy, I do not agree with what he fought for. However, I did not agree with everything he fought for. But he and General Grant, General Sherman, General Hooker, General Stonewall Jackson, to name but a few, the men and women of every war since, the, um, the War of 1812, and all wars, WW1, WW2, more recently, the Iraq and Afghanistan war and ongoing battles around the globe, those men and women fought and died for and fought and lived for freedom, for what we believed in. And yet, once again, the President of the United States, Barack Obama, and this current Congress, three days ago, on the, two days ago as a matter of fact, on the 2nd of June, 2015, once again extended their betrayal, their traitorous actions, and their disillusion and dissolving of the United States of America. You see, my friends, those men and women are still fighting for what they believe is freedom. You are living in a country that you believe you are free, but you are not. You are not free as long as any intelligence agency can arbitrarily look into your records. What you eat, what you drink, where you go, what your medical conditions are, who you call, and all of the same. And now, both Democratic Party and the Republican Party has decided that we will once again put the American people to sleep by changing the name of the law to the Freedom Act. But yet, there is no freedom in this act. And they made it sound good that the NSA and all intelligence agencies must have targeted warrants. And 61% of the American public favored this, but yet, my fellow Americans, they did not address what will the intelligence agencies do with all of the data they've collected. Will it be destroyed? And should it be destroyed in their, in the manner that they choose? Why not put it on free television, put it on C-SPAN, put it on channel I mean, NBC, ABC, and watch the destruction of all of this illegal, ill-gotten data. Now, 
I will address something else. Some say that they will abide by the law, but there are covert, covert actions that even Congress has no power to stop. And there are black offs, but let us presuppose that the NSA, the CIA, and all intelligence agencies were willing to abide by the law. What happens to the stuff, the, the data they have? And how do we ever have privacy in America again when every telecom communications company, every internet provider, every telephone company, cable company has been ordered to turn over your records if the government for any reason deems you to be a threat. And too many Americans say, if I have nothing to hide, why should I care? Well, I'll tell you why. The United States Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and the Bill of Rights said they cannot, the government must not, cannot, shall not invade privacy. It may not say it in that exact way. Why should you care? Because we are not a free nation. Why should you care? Because there is nothing stopping them for, from editing information to make you look bad. It may sound, I, may sound like I am a conspiracy theorist, it may sound like I'm a radical. It may sound like I'm against America. I love America. And I will not have my nation become a surveillance nation. And that is what we have. Why is that so important, my fellow Americans? Why does it get my passions so wild up and riled up that I can scream loud enough to make all of America hear me? Why? Because it actually is an abomination. It's illegal. It's unconstitutional. And it slaps George Washington and every forefather and every soldier in your family's history in the face. You see, my friends, I want the United States of America to be protected from terrorism. I want us to be protected from all enemies, foreign and, of course, domestic. And we have one of the best United States, the United States has one of the best militaries in the history of this planet. I will continue to fight legally and peacefully for my rights to liberty. And I will rely on one of the best militaries on earth. Those men and those women fought and died for and fought and lived for freedom. And up until 1991, there were no terrorist attacks. There were none. And after 2001, the attacks, President Bush said, we will not change who we are. President Obama campaigned against the Patriot Act. What has happened, President Obama, that you ask for these protections? Now, it is entirely possible there are threats that none of us know about. But unless and until our government, which includes the president, every intelligence agency, and until every member of Congress gives us in writing the true risk and the cowardly media actually explo explores and ex exposes this until those actions come to pass. We cannot grant these types of laws. As owners of this nation, we cannot permit them. Do I want the United States to be protected from terrorists and foreign enemies? I was in law enforcement. I trained for counterterrorism in the 1980s. I love my nation. But I will not live in a surveillance nation. And if you are willing to accept and agree to these types of absolute abominations on our privacy, then you are not a patriotic American. If you believe that we have become safer 
through these types of laws, you have become a delusional person. And it's not me who believes that this is egregious and traitorous. Think about Benjamin Franklin. Those who would exchange their liberty for security deserve neither. Me? I will rely on my United States military to protect this nation. I will rely on the intelligence agency who agencies who've actually lost their way. No doubt there are good men and women in these, these agencies, but they have lost their way. We cannot lose our liberty because of the new global threats. We cannot lose our liberty for any reason. You see, my friends and fellow Americans, if we do so, we need not worry about terrorists. If we do so, we need not worry about attacks. If we do so, we have already lost our nation. We may not have physically lost it, but in a larger sense, we have lost our nation. And in a truer sense of the word, we and most politicians in America, the majority of them, have corrupted this great nation. There once was a young man back in 1863 who uttered the, uttered the words that a nation of the people, by the people, and for the people, people shall not perish. I am a law-abiding American, willing to risk everything, even my own life, and I will peacefully and legally continue to tell the truth. For that man was a great man of, by, and for the people. That man, that man was a Republican. That man was the one and only Abraham Lincoln. So if you believe in the United States, if you care about the United States military, if you believe that the United States military is the best damn military on earth, I'm asking you to call Congress today, legally and peacefully. I'm asking you to call and demand that all of these laws either be explained in writing and that this ill-gotten, criminally ill-gotten data from the intelligence agencies, all of it, that has not shown any real threats, the ones that have not shown any real threats, I want you to demand legally and peacefully that it be publicly destroyed on CNN, ABC, and every network and every internet site that you can find. You see, my friends, as long as we have the Patriot Act, as long as we have the Military Commission, Commissions Act of 20, 2006 that gets rid of habeas corpus, as long as we have the National Defense Authorization Act, and as long as we are prisoners in our own nation, then we are not honoring those men and women of the United States military. We are not honoring the agents that saved a whole race of I mean, pigmentation and nationality of people. Am I fired up? You better believe it. I want you to start petitions on CARES, I believe it's CARES.org through Facebook. I want you to start petitions around the United States. I want you to go to TakeAction.com and I want you to go to the petition site Com. I want you to call members of Congress, every single one, 202-224-3121. I want you to take action. And then, on Independence Day 2015 and every year after that you are alive, I want you to celebrate it by saying that I have legally and I have peacefully fought for freedom. It's time to stand. And I may not be a United States Marine, 
I may not be a Navy SEAL. I may not be a Delta Force. But I will use my voice legally and peacefully to fight for freedom. I'm asking you to honor the words of Abraham Lincoln and bring back this country and this nation and 